welcome all you back on board. <laughs> <laughs> Worked. <laughs> the completely unnecessary st- podcast. Uh, welcome to the stage. <laughs> welcome to the stage. Uh, host uh, extraordinaire. Um, two-time pickle eating champion and air guitar yeah, that's right. n- What happened with nominee. the pickles? I need oh, to hear I about this. That. Uh, <laughs> who, who do we got here? I'm Who's, Sean. I'm Jake. Philippe. Aaron. Meg. <laughs> that was an amazing intro, Jake. Yeah, right. not, we're not going to cover that up with the recording. That's, that's right. staying in the episode. Yeah. Can we that's get the canon. Can we get the house lights down? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I need a little more, a little more bass in my monitor, please. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Check on my. Um, here. what are we doing? We're watching Star Trek again. Jesus, what a fucking mm-hmm. idea! Whose idea was it to do this show? <laughs> Uh, all those. It was ago. mine, guys. I know. Yeah. We, we knew it, it all on Aaron. Yeah. Today we're watching season six, episode two. I think it's called Realm of Fear. Sounds like it. If I'm not mistaken. It is now. Uh, I got forty five thirty eight on the clock, and I'm punching the triangle in three, two, one, punch. Nice. Look at that. It's beautiful. I don't know what it is, but yeah. it looks cool. That white thing is that sucking. White, yeah, isn't it? Sucking the juice out of the red guy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I've had relationships like that. It's a remote plasma streamer. Mm-hmm. Is that Was that some kind of like colonialism towards Native Americans? <laughs> the white thing sucking all of the juice out of the red thing? Makes sense. Do you guys ever have a surprise birthday party for me? Hint, hint. Can I get some plasma streamers? <laughs> <laughs> Just one plasma streamer. Come on, you know what I forgot to bring today? <clears throat> I forgot to bring plasma streamers? the Golden Girls. Yeah, I didn't uh, get my time. Because it's, Neither did I Philippe. Know, well, poor F- I did. I, yeah. Yeah. You just... I violated. I violated the rules. The prime directive. I, I forgot to. I will bring it next time so you guys can enjoy it. Hey, Lieutenant Barkley. Oh my Yay. god. My favorite. Me too. He's <laughs> like the only normal guy. He's, he is. He's, he's the like only, he's, he's us like, in space. Exactly. Yeah. He's exactly. He is. I don't know why they didn't use him more. Yeah. He's clearly the. He could be the. He's the crowd surrogate for everything that. They do on these ships that most people would be like, huh? Why Why do you just trust that I can step into a box and you can take my all of my molecules and th- cut them into millions and then put them back together and it's going to be perfectly fine? I mean, I think technically, like philosophically... I don't think you're the you anymore. Yeah, I yeah. feel like you're you. Once you stop, isn't that just cons- a clone? Yeah, you're just a clone who happens to have the same. They memory. killed the original person, yeah. and it's like the the prestige. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, keep making. If the, you say so, making the cone and no one's yeah. seen the prestige. I've seen the prestige, yeah, yeah. and I it's, think exactly what you're talking about yeah. when Tesla makes them the thing, and the, just, they killed the other uh, person. They, just, they make the clone and kill the clone. That's how the trick works. <laughs> it's awesome. Just to keep it clean and yep. keep things from being awkward. Yeah. Look how brave I am. I'm Worf. <laughs> mm-hmm. Transporting from place to place doesn't scare me. I just me. feel like philosophically, I would have a little bit of a weird. I agree. Yeah. I'm oh, I'm on Barkley's side in this episode. I realize that you know Barkley was a little bit creepy in the holodeck episode, but I think since then he's made some pretty good points. Who among us has not been creepy in a holodeck? I promise you, everyone in this room, <laughs> if there were holodecks, would be creepy in them at some point in time. I wonder. I mean, if you know. After you, if for those a few of us who have actually looked at porn, but when you're done, you kind of feel like a little bit grossed out with yourself. I mean, when they say end program, and they just look at the mess they've made, <laughs> you gotta, there's got to be a little bit of sadness. <laughs> Is in there your like eyes, a lot right? of shame associated with that? Because they also know that somebody beneath them is going to come and have to clean that up. Do they have the equivalent of twenty browser tabs open? Twenty, <laughs> damn, Philippe. He needs a variety. <laughs> no time for one browser for this boy. He's got a. I'm not saying from he's personal. A I got a toggle between my porn. Nah, I'm just saying, just options. 
Asian, black, Asian, black. <laughs> Gang bang. <laughs> <laughs> Just have like one, you know, one box for each one, each fetish. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. Um, it's all the same. Yeah. <laughs> Lady writing a suggestive letter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. yeah. Ankles, ankles, ankles. <laughs> ankles, ankles, neck. Sixteen hundreds <laughs> porn. Yeah. yeah. That's all it is. Ooh, a wrist shot. So what's Barkley going on about? I don't he, know what's happening. He doesn't want to go on the transporter. He does not trust the transporter. Oh, okay. Um, I, I so I'm on Barkley's side. I, exactly. Yeah. We've I don't want my molecules all. I was right. It is called Realm of Fear. Hey. Season six, episode two, original air date September 26, 1992. Overcoming his fear of transporter, Lieutenant Barkley joins an away team, only to find something in the beam with him. He's right. Basically, this move yeah. episode. I know. It Bar- proves that there, there is a problem with Transformer. <laughs> yeah. The Transformer. Mm-hmm. There is a problem with transformers. More than meets the yeah, eye. They are. Optimus exactly. Prime is very proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Omnicron is going to eat us. Bumble. Aaron, what do you think the IMDb rating of this episode is? I mean, is? I already think it's great based on the description. I mean, I yeah. I right? Mean, it's got a Lieutenant Barkley storyline. How can yeah. it not be great? Yeah. Woo, the last one was an 8.2. Yep. It had a lot of gimmicks. I'm going to say this one's an 8.1. All right. See, I don't think they're going to rate this one high enough. but Because they're not going to have the gimmicks. Seven. Yeah. Didn't, did you watch the episode? It'd probably been a while. But no, I didn't. No, you didn't watch it. Seven. Anybody else? 7.8. 8.3. 7.2. Yep. Uh, wow. It is a too low for my See? opinion. Yeah. Is this what they do to you? I, don't, I can I relate wonder if to this one a lot like more. People don't like Barkley. They don't because he's like he takes he's you shifty. out of it. He's like, oh yeah, yeah. That's what... They remind them of them. Yeah. Why isn't he like a superhero yeah, like everybody exactly. else? Yeah. Like everybody yeah. Else. yeah. He like, doesn't want to do something that's kind of scary. Yeah. I feel like. Look at this room. And I like the way Barkley's got like real like anxiety like that's, regular mm-hmm. people do. That's one hell of a couch she has there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. I like <laughs> the des- way Who it's... would design a couch that way? Mm-hmm. I want to get a new couch and I want it to be that. Who, why would you ever sit on the right. bend like that? That it's, can't it, be comfortable. If you have a couch in your pool It's how the future works, works really well. Uh, that... Well, it is the future. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Future couch. You can't, future couch. You can't see room, some of the other people. <laughs> the room... decor in this room. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. Why it is shouts. there a palm tree in yeah. the room? Yeah. yeah. It's the fakest it's thing soothing. I've ever seen. Yeah. I think you could say that Barkley was the the predecessor to the entire like lower decks show. Yeah. He's like, he's so lower right, decks. Right. He's actually, but even like on the lower decks, like they don't respond to the transporter and shit like that. Like Barkley does, yeah, that's true. They even do it in a much more they're no, used to it, and it's just normal sure. for them. But they're, 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 they have hangups. Let's say that. Sure. Uh, you know? Well, that, it's that great episode where where Boimler gets put on the Enterprise and he can't take it because they go and they're like, "Why are we fighting again?" Like Riker always just wants to go fight, and he's like, "This is too much. I can't." Handle. <laughs> But everybody else on the ship is like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Did so you apparently catch- in this episode, Chief O'Brien got got demoted. He lost a pip on his collar because mm. they wanted to make sure you knew Lieutenant Barkley outranked him. Oh, mm. it's important for the story. Just like that mushroom. And there's, and it is funny because. I, it's been a while, so you may not remember, but one of the last episodes we watched in season five was the episode where uh, Jordy and uh, Lieutenant um, or Ensign Rowe get phased out because of a transporter oh, malfunction. Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. And Barkley asks Jordy in this episode if he's ever had anything funny happen to him in a transporter. And he says, nah, not really. <laughs> like, Damn. Like a week ago, dude, you got phased out of time. Yeah. Like People thought you were dead. There's like 20 and you episodes forgot. about... What? She's teaching him to, if you just tap on that part of your... Let's all try. Yeah, let's do it if now. If you tap on that, does it... 
Does it Does r- relieve it your anxiety? Kind of makes Not when he does it like fun. that. Yeah. He just looks like he's got like a nervous twitch. Does it re- represent like our mothers licking us when we were kitten? <laughs> sure. Mm-hmm. I think we carry a lot of tension in he's that area. He's very excited. It's working very it's well. It's really for working. Us. Yeah. Jeez. She's I think like, that's he now. That's like his new jerking off. Yeah, routine. but she gave the look of like <laughs> what the hell? The, straight oh, to the holodeck. Like, Wait a minute. <laughs> what have He's I done? He's gonna abuse that too. Yeah. He's gonna do it with me dressed like Maid Mary. <laughs> um, although apparently she doesn't remember that because yeah, nobody remembers weeks. anything. Yeah, it's like a giant ship of mementos. But they have two week. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. like, nobody has any long term memory <laughs> on the Enterprise. Yeah. <laughs> I have to look at their tattoos. <laughs> um. Wait. Yeah. What? What? Uh, we didn't watch this one, did we? Oh. Uh, what's What's the? I don't. Can so you, can there's you tell a me ship. About this? There's a ship caught in like. Some kind of weird plasma streamer, plasma stream. Oh, uh, yeah, and everybody on it is gone or dead. And there's something going on with their transporter. They, they were, remember how they were showing the transporter only one was going at a time? Yeah, it's because there was problems with the, their transporter pad, Got it. and so you could only do one at a time. So, but now, and Barkley was supposed to be on the away team, but he freaked out and didn't go. Now he's going. He's going to tap his little yeah. <laughs> neck. Is he tapping his jaw or his neck? It's Just like behind his ear. Is it? Kind of like where your jaw and your neck meet. All right. You're like, I want his... O'Brien to and, tap it for me. And, and O'Brien's going to tell him that I'm afraid of spiders. Uh, and that uh, he... he was once in a Jeffrey's tube full of spiders. Yeah. For some reason. Yeah. Yeah. That. I mean, why? How did? Oh, Zera Four, Zeranian. Dusted with yeah. spiders. They get the, everywhere. The Thal Talarian hook spiders, oh. man. Now he, the way he describes them, a uh, the half a meter <laughs> long. That's a big fucking spider. Yeah, that's I don't, too big. Even the person who was <laughs> not afraid mildly of afraid of spiders, I would think, would be a, f- afraid of that. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like it's anybody who's afraid of has fear of, of anything. anything <laughs> yeah, <would> be <laughs> frightened of a spider with half a meter long leg. No, I would not be trapped in a Jeffrey's tube. With, that's uh, a big fucking spider. Unless it was like, unless they're like. <laughs> The ultimate daddy long legs, and they have just a tiny little body. Yeah, and these giant legs that stick out. I want them to be hair thin, just like angel hair pasta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, they like break. <laughs> they can't walk because yeah. if they move at all, if their you legs are so sneeze, they're you know. swept away. In a sea of your breath, a gust. All right, here he goes. I don't like it. I wouldn't do it. I don't trust it. So this is the first time in an episode of Star Trek you ever get to see transporting from the viewpoint of the transported. Oh, yeah. you're right. POV. You know, they've never shown that before. That's cool. Nice. Must have been kind of cool to visualize that. It's like, oh my God. I made it. And then he pulled, touches his crotch and says, thank God they're still there. <laughs> All three of them. <laughs> mm-hmm. I gotta, I gotta go tap my neck in the hollow deck later today. Mm-hmm. And then he has his three, three balls. <laughs> Just three balls, yeah. no penis. Yeah, <laughs> they're called Kirk, Spock, and Bones. <laughs> Bones. <laughs> no, they don't do that. Bones is in the middle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn it, Jim! I'm a testicle. They're all much nicer to Lieutenant Barkley than they were in the first episode. I feel like there were we. Well, oh, that was the other Barkley episode we saw was one where he becomes super duper smart. Yeah, and of course, what does he do? Takes over the ship. <laughs> that's what you do when you. Re- so that's the. This is the first time the admiral 
outfit is shown. Oh. And that'll become the standard admiral outfit for the rest of this right. show, for the rest of the show in Deep Space Nine. Fashion week. Oh, there's the oh, fish. Oh, you can see the fish. Yay. Fish is in the tank. Yeah, he is. He's living spectacular. His, living his good life in there. Yeah. I like the sign off screen. The waiting. Hmm. I feel hmm. like, so I read a book once, I think it was called Loop, and they like invented like this teleporter that was like a giant loop and they would go in and then like come out wherever the other the other loop the, the side o- of the loop was yeah, the other side of the loop was and they were like oh there it was like a tech company and they were like oh my god this is gonna be amazing and but they like what you find out towards the end of the book is that like i'm spoiling it here so people who want to read the loop turn away <laughs> uh it's like it was really like tapping into like some multiverse and like a different version of the person from a different like timeline would come out. And so like they would be like a little bit different and uh yeah, so it ended up oh, being no. What is that? See, there's <laughs> stuff in there. That's not cool. No, it's not cool. There was a squid thing See? that bit him. So that Plus the loop, plus Barclay, Meekles. Like, that's enough evidence that I don't want to go in into transporters. Be it loop or... So what happened? So the one body would go... So the person that walked into the loop yeah. would get shot into some other universe. Yep, and then another person then would just ran- from randomly would come, would come out. Come and they out could be other. like you, but they could also be like the serial killer version of you. So there's always a multiverse version of you. Yeah, it was random. So you but, get stuck in some random version where like maybe you didn't have a wife anymore and that was like one of them or like gotcha. this guy didn't like know. <laughs> Funny that that's the version you mentioned. <laughs> it's not. That's the book. That's from the example from the book. Not anything else. <laughs> uh oh, Philippe. <laughs> and there was this one episode one where the guy went, he didn't have any family. And yeah, and he was so happy. happy. It was like the best thing that ever happened to him. <laughs> oh, no. And he had spaghetti with chocolate sauce because his <laughs> wife wasn't there to say no. <laughs> I have a feeling like your wife would not say no to spaghetti and chocolate sauce. <laughs> no, it sounds disgusting. I hope she would stop me. That's what we're having tomorrow night. <laughs> you asked for it, you got it. Hershey uh, syrup, spaghetti, casserole, baby. Uh, Eat up. Mm, yummy, yummy. Yeah. He's like, I saw something in the thing. And then mm-hmm. Jordy's but, like, you're a moron. Dude. Yeah, but he hasn't read the loop, which has actually come out by now, so they should know about it. It's true. Yeah, should know about the evil people that come out of it. They don't really talk about it because they don't reference anything that wasn't written by Shakespeare. On <laughs> exactly. The show. But you think that they would have read like, uh, like Philip s- Dick? Yeah. You know, Arthur Clarke. <laughs> exactly. Any of the writers. <laughs> Post Shakespeare, <laughs> and do you think that they got some of their ideas for the technology? Yeah, from those books. The thing about this world, the technology basically works all the time, and if it doesn't, it's a whole plot point. You know what I mean? <laughs> but we live in a world where you know the toaster oven may work today, or it might not. I don't know. You got problems with your toaster oven? I'm just saying, it's just not. Is it the AI? <laughs> is that what's bothering you? Well, I mean, Are you freaked I, out by the AI. I just want to clear the air that there's absolutely nothing wrong with our toaster. <laughs> <open>. <laughs> I was using an example. I'm just saying you don't put your penis in the toaster, Phil. That's gonna mess it up. Then how do you use it? Warm up. <laughs> um, the toaster or your penis? Put it inside the oven mitt, and then you put it in. What you do for warmsies? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's okay. It's what my grandma taught me. I feel like a big problem I have with Barkley is his hair. Right. <laughs> I don't trust that hairstyle. 
You can't blame him, though. It's just that. He has one hell of a widow's peak, is for sure. It's more like a widow's mountain. I like it. Am I right? Right? I like it. I like it. It's like, that's why, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Everything is going, is against him. There was one two weeks ago, Jordan, you were in it. <laughs> it's, I think the problem is what they classify as a transporter accident. Yeah. Well, did they eventually reappear and were okay? Then it's not, they nothing were, happened. No, doesn't, yeah, doesn't, yeah. Yeah, doesn't count. Do, yeah. Doesn't count. Do you want to fill out the paperwork? Yeah, exactly. We, we fix the problem, so it doesn't count. Because no. the transporter, you know, paperwork is so... It's the worst. It's the worst that nobody reports any accidents. Talk about billions of kiloquads of data. I always had seven fingers on that hand. <laughs> is really... <laughs> That's my favorite country song. Yeah. <laughs> Now I can hold my beer and play this here guitar. <laughs> Transporters, you made me a star. <laughs> I always like the the uh, the transporter lore from the Hitchhiker's Guide books. That it was. Very dangerous. No one liked doing it because you always ended up fucked up on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kind of rearranged. Yeah. To me, this is like what a typical heart uh, transporter, you know, success story oh. looks like. Dude. That guy. Damn. She's blowing him up, man. Mm-hmm. Wait, she left a thing on him. Yeah. <laughs> no, she left a plunger in the toilet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Uh, he's going to. Do your job, Beverly. Yeah. Bar- Barkley's on break. Drinking that water. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He, Stay everything hydrated. Everything that Dwight Schultz does as Barkley looks like it's the first time he's ever done anything. <laughs> I think it's amazing life. to be he able is. to do that. He good. drinks that water like he's never had a drink of water. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I, there's something about him, how he's oh so uncomfortable God. in his own, like... Yeah, he's skin. twitchy. I oh! Oh, he's got transporteritis, herpes. <laughs> he's got the transporter herpes. Oh, my gosh. He's got the glow. Everybody has it, but nobody talks about it. Remember that movie, Spy- Ice Pirates? They had space herpes. That <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Ice Pirates is a great movie. I mean... Or Bob Yurk. It's no sharks in the corn, but... <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> it is not no. familiar with sharks in the corn. <laughs> well, if you can imagine... Is there sharks in corn? <laughs> yeah, it's like children of the corn in the sense that the movie title has... Sharks in the cor- chasing in the corn. in the cornfield. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. Typical place you'd find a shark <laughs> yeah. in the cornfield. There's helicopters involved. Yeah. Well, we watched the trailer. We were trying to find the worst movies, and we found the trailer. <laughs> Look at his eyes. <laughs> Do you have sparkles? He just he get, his eyes get super wide when he drinks out of the cup. Wow, he's never drunk out of a cup before. Okay, it's true. It's commonplace for you. Art it's, on the wall. It's a magnificent. <laughs> This is is this Barkley's room? This is yeah, how yeah yeah yeah. We're getting in. We're getting behind the curtain. Oh my god, I love his like pictures of sailing. Mm-hmm. Three. He's he's. He's asking about transporter psychosis, which apparently was a thing at one point in time. Yeah. And he's asking, this is the computer that's talking to him right now? Right. He's trying to figure out what the symptoms of it are. I like that he's doing the process he's of He's WebMDing himself. I know. It's never sure a good idea. Is. But why doesn't he like go with the symptoms he has as opposed to, hey, what was that one thing? And then going working backwards. He's doing WebMD. He's yeah. doing exactly what people who go on WebMD yeah. do. <laughs> like, they do I have terminal. this? <laughs> do I have this? No. Mm-hmm. It's like, here, I mean, usually you just put in your symptoms like glowing arm. <laughs> Can't, don't know how to drink water. I would think that when he saw the glowing arm, his first thought would be to go, go to the fucking help. doctor. <laughs> Moron. Typical dude. He's like, he hey, is it's gonna just go. like every other guy, right? I don't need to go to the doctor. I'll wait, I'll wait a few days it'll, so we just go away. It goes away. 
Uh, it's a real problem, guys. Yeah, it is a real problem. <laughs> don't, don't do that. <clears throat> <sighs> yeah, the ionization and burns and I stuff. Look at the way he's looking at her talk right oh, now. He's so <laughs> close. Can you give me some <laughs> I'm not space? okay with he's that. Like, Jesus. I can staring s- right into her ear. Yeah. I can smell Guinan on your breath, Picard. <laughs> like, <laughs> take a fucking step. I know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> The card getting freaky and uh, hey, ten forward. It's curling her hair. It's like, yeah, I like you, but like, yeah. The See older her? the fruit, the freeder the juice, right? Mm. The what the juice? <laughs> <laughs> the what freeder. The freeder. <laughs> freeder the juice. Mm. <laughs> Here comes that lady juice into the horror. Mm. Freeder of juice. The freeder no. juice. Stocking. <laughs> Yeah. What does that even mean? <laughs> oh man, Ooh, he's really he's we're getting a lot of jo- a lot shots of, of him drinking. A lot of water drinking going yeah, on. Yeah, he does get that. big eyes. Yeah. Any look up computer, look up any disease involving like dry mouth yeah. <laughs> feelings of dehydration. Yeah, he's... and glowing arms. Maybe it's because he's that... tapping his glands too much. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Just like He's literally the only normal person, though, because he's like, everybody else is like completely about their job. And Barkley's like, yeah, he's like, he's hypochondriac. Like, I need to take there. a, like, I need to take a he was like, personal day. What the hell are you doing? Yeah. Why are you doing that to your neck? <laughs> Data is confused. Mm hmm. Barkley really doesn't, D- Data cannot understand Barkley at all because. Everybody else on the ship is all about just getting the job done. Yeah, solve the problem. And yeah. Yeah, Barkley yeah. is way too emotional about things for <laughs> Data to ever comprehend what's going on with him. He should just spend way more time with Barkley. That would be a good duo. Yeah, I'd watch that sitcom. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're perfect friends. <laughs> mm-hmm. One guy's a robot. One guy is not. <laughs> it's One guy eats bolts and, and data. <laughs> bolts? <laughs> he bolts. eats bolts? <laughs> no, Barkley. Yeah. Uh, one guy drinks water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's confirmed. Yeah. He's thirsty. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He's always thirsty but never has to go to the bathroom. That's the real. I thought we were going to see, like, spy on him. I felt like we were spying when <laughs> he know. went up that ladder. I was like, what's happening next? Mm-hmm. <laughs> just like, I think this is my favorite episode just to watch Barclay's without face. sound. Just like Barkley's face is just like yeah. amazing. He would be like me at work at the I was like, <laughs> I feel weird. <laughs> I gotta go to bed. Yeah, I don't want to do anything related to this job anymore. <laughs> Jesus fracking Christ, Barkley. You're in Starfleet for God's sake. I know. <laughs> wow. I want to know how Barkley got passed through. <laughs> oh, man. He's power walking. Mm-hmm. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? This is like a hilarious physical yeah. episode. Like, of I'm a walking. No yes, way. indeed. Just he wants to walking see walking around in a circle. Yeah, is he drinking Red Bull? <laughs> yeah. He gave him wings. He's yeah. got a pretty good height on him, so he's he got does. a good. He's got a he's good. He's got stat. a good gait. Yeah. He, you know, for something we're working. <sighs> he's expressive. I wonder. This is a long circle walk. Mm-hmm. Starting to get dizzy. Yeah. They must have had to like reset the camera, like. Four or five times. Yeah, you think he's just walking down the same hall over and over and over again? Yes. Uh, I think, like, yeah. Two sections of the hall, like, twice each. <laughs> that's, that's my you prediction. would think they only have, like, that one section of hallway built, right? I would imagine they have, yeah. Because then they could just change. But they'd have to, like, change all the... Yeah, it depends on how much you want to, f- like, futz with. He's a fine. You do that. Mm-hmm. You do what you have to do. I'm gonna drink some water. He's gonna walk fast around yeah, this. So... <laughs> he's going the wrong. He's going the other no! way. No. Yeah. 
<laughs> he already did a half marathon trying to get where he was going. Bar- Barkley's got to get his steps. <laughs> oh, I love this part side of Barkley. No. Yeah. yeah that's right. He's got. He, is he wearing Picard's clothes? Oh, no, that V cut is not deep models. enough. Yeah, I was going to say, it's not nearly a deep enough V necks. I know. Uh, he's got his scope all in one, like, really nice decanter, you know, for when he wants to really yeah. get a fresh breath. <laughs> not sure what he's drinking there, but it looks good. A scope. A scope. A scope. A scope. Or Listerine, maybe. I don't know. I'm not brand conscious. Give me water. Now he doesn't have any problem drinking the water that gets made in the in the uh, replicator, yeah, which is basically the same technology as a transporter. Yeah, the hypocrisy, uh, the hypocrisy. I, now I'm not on your side, Barkley. His plate art is pulling yeah. me back, though. <laughs> His plate art is like, who wants those plates above their head right? while you're sleeping? Yeah. That, that seems dangerous. Guess they're not worried yeah. about earthquakes. On a ship that like gets I mean, hit by meteors all the time. <laughs> Dude, there's always getting something and is shaking. Those that things air. are falling on his head all the time. Hey, at least it's not pictures of space. <laughs> it's true. Hey, everybody yeah. has that. Barkley does not. Barkley tells himself he's not in space. Yeah. I'm not in space. <laughs> I'm not in space. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, despite everything that that pillow says, that I'm in space. I mean, who, who wants to sleep on a sequence sequin pillow? pillow? Sparkly pillow. <laughs> sparkly <laughs> Barkley. It's the future. I'm Sparkly Barkley now. Ah! Oh, no. Okay, it lit up again. Go to the doctor! <laughs> God damn it. Don't worry. Be a man. That's a commercial. There's a cream that some guy in Lower Decks will give you. Trust me. <laughs> My job is to look at this thing. Hmm. Hey, have you ever had a glowing appendage? Was your hair always curly? <laughs> <laughs> it's deflecting. I feel like sometimes they use like the transporter to like, you know. F- cure things like eh, we'll transport everything but like the disease i feel like there's an episode like yeah that. that sounds right so it does actually solve an occasional problem yeah the transporter yeah well yeah they use it to get pe- rid of people's diseases all the time yeah i mean it's got an automatic immunity thing it's in because it. it's basically making a copy of you but it's better so it's not so we can just say it's making a copy it's not the same person it's like you always said about the transporter. Wouldn't you just add a couple centimeters of penis every time? <laughs> yeah. Just, <laughs> every time. Yeah. A little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, you know? Yeah. Those molecules were somewhere else. They could have been, they weren't being used. Take a couple of molecules to make your hair and add them to your penis. Yeah. Take the belly fat. That's why his widow peak is so big. Yeah. It's all that hair. It's all the hair that he turned into penis. He's in. <laughs> he's actually uses it to make more bush. <laughs> She's like, I don't care. I just get. To, I like to transport people. Mm-hmm. It's what I live for. <laughs> it's what I live for. Is this, this could just be an automated system? No, nope. no. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those make work oh, jobs. Oh, there it is. I see it. It's the worm. The worm's there. It's like the. Going to keep... bite you, Barkley. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Here it comes yeah. It's like Slimer ah! Yeah that is, that is kind of unsettling Yeah Wait did he just Where did he just go Where did he Where did he transport to Nowhere He was just doing a Yeah they were just checking mm-hmm. Oh finally mm-hmm. After all that shit He finally starts I wonder how the main cast Like having Barkley episodes Like Wait right. Weird, yeah. like this. It's kind of like one of those rare times where somebody who's not the main cast has an episode. Yeah. They must have enjoyed these. Yeah. They didn't have to be there for more than a day, probably, to <laughs> film all their shit. But then they have Barkley has, like, the spotlight. That's kind of interesting. He's self-diagnosed. Mm-hmm. Um, I looked at... WebMD on the ship, and it says that I have this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ionic fluctuations, yes. yes. <laughs> of course, got to have the ionic fluctuations. 
You get all up in your tachyons. I feel like Barkley has been under strain for the last few days, as has been said in every Barkley episode. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he's not acting strange for Barkley. Right. <laughs> I, I think at this point in time, all the people are going to say, well, at least he's not jerking off in the holodeck every other day now. <laughs> yeah, to us. <laughs> <laughs> Which was really awkward. That's the really creepy part of it. So he didn't make me super Rikers like, at least I'm not a little midget in his holodeck dream. <laughs> So he's afraid of the transporter. Who gives a fuck? Oh, I like that. We got this machine. Yeah, got to do that. It's for his hairline. Uh, Getting that five head. I'm yeah. looking at Alcatraz through this thing. <laughs> and I'm yeah. learning facts. <laughs> like one of those 3D viewfinders. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to watch the Black Stallion <laughs> through 3D viewfinder. Ooh, Ooh. I, it's like I'm there. That's a weird movie. Black Stallion? Yeah. I used to love it. Kid gets stranded on a desert island with a horse. Yep. And then... And then they become... Besties? And racehorse. And the kid becomes a jockey. Yep. It's great. It's absolutely great. It has, it's really... That's lit. exactly what would happen <laughs> if a kid and a horse ended up on a desert island together. Best possible outcome. Yeah. I'd say. <laughs> yeah, that horse could have become a real prick. Yeah. Eating the kid. Could have. But he commanded it. Ever see Black Stallion 2? Electric Boogaloo? Yep. I have not seen a Black Stallion 2. Does he crash land on another <laughs> island and meet another horse? Somebody. Some people in the Middle East steal the Black Stallion, and he has to, like, go to, like, I don't know. Is it the same kid? Same actor? I think it is. But it's later, and then he, and they're, yeah. So he has to go back and steal him back. And then I think at the end of it, he lets him go. That's <gasps> it. No. Yeah. I think the Black Stallion finds a lady horse. <laughs> Good for him. I'm actually might be like completely misremembering, but that's what I remember. What is this? Oh, they're capturing it. Ah. Is that the worm in there? It's the biggest tequila worm I've ever seen. <laughs> Second biggest. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Ah. ah. So they're trying to recreate what happened on the ship. Figure out why everyone's dead and some people are missing. They're somewhere they're in like the they're in the transporter like n- sublimit liminal space. That's my guess. Yeah. I like it. They're like Doing some CSI shit. It done blowed up, Data. (laughs) (laughs) Data's like, yep. (laughs) Yep. It's really awesome. Blowed it up. What else can we blow up? What do you think? Let's get Barkley in that thing. (laughs) Put him in there. Yep. Uh, Oh, it's got, it's everywhere. Uh oh. Space herpes. He's yeah. got the tacky on herpes. Uh, disco, disco sprinkles. Mm. Can never get glitter off. <laughs> no, now he looks like the everywhere. vampires in the Twilight books. They're tw- all sparkly. He's got the sparkly skin. Quasi M energy <laughs> microbes. <laughs> uh, that's what caused those ionic fluctuations earlier. <sighs> Dude, it's so obvious now that you know. Yep. Heck yeah. It's so brilliant the way <clears> you wrote that. I never, th- I didn't think about it, but when you really think about it, it's obvious. Of course. Not when you really think about it. Yeah. When you really, think <laughs> when about you it. really think about it, you're like, it's so obvious. It was bigger than a microbe. Uh, okay. Um, is it yellow? <laughs> um, would I take no. it to school or yeah. work? No. Okay. Was it data? Eighteen questions. <laughs> <laughs> was it data's head? Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Telling you, it looked like a worm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sure it did. Mm-hmm. Draw it. You can't Reg. Draw. Mm-hmm. Reg Barkley. Is it Reginald? I think so. I feel like... How come he gets called Reg? I feel like... Yeah, they're pretty informal with Lieutenant Barkley. They don't yeah. call him Lieutenant. Yeah. They call him Reg. Yeah. You can't do that to them. No. Nope. You can't be like, hey, John Luke, how you doing? Exactly. It feels weird. He's like different. He stands apart. <laughs> I want to know, does Picard deal with what happens to Barkley? In this episode? In the show Picard. No. Because he's really the character I want to catch no, up. No, they do not. There's no what happened to Lieutenant Barkley. <laughs> That's really what I want to know. Shows. I want. I want to. Yeah, know, I'd like to have a. I want an episode where he's like the he's the head of Starfleet. <laughs> Somehow he's like fallen in some weird. Still exactly the same. Yeah. But also <laughs> like in charge. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like somehow he's fallen into this <laughs> upwards upstream. <laughs> It's just like, oh, oh man, uh, Romulans. Oh, uh, geez. Those guys are bad, right? Because <laughs> they always get them mixed up with the Vulcans. Where is it? Where is you it? See the wormy guy. Is it wormy? Uh, yeah, the molecular. Sure, resin. why not? He's got them static modes. Yep. He's engaging. Yeah. Sure, that happens. That's yep. that's a thing we can do. Yep. There it is. It's the worm. It's doing the worm. It's there. <laughs> I wish the worm had a backward hat and wrapped because it was the 90s. And that's what we did. We wore our backwards hats and we wrapped. <laughs> this worm. Big, big old worm. Yeah. Has he got hands? Nope. Just a big mouth. Mm. What's Barkley going to do? Grab that thing by his neck. He sure is. Yeah? Yep. Did they ever try to do something cute on the show, like the Tribbles? Um, I mean, I guess there's an episode with baby Star Trek. When they all become... Oh, like top, like young... They become young... Kids? Yeah. Baby Picard and Baby yeah. Diamond. And... I'm just saying, like, I feel like they didn't even do anything for market, like, that could be marketed as a toy. Like, they had, like, they're so anti consumer. Right. They're like, I feel like in some ways, like, the, oh, wait, he's got it. Wait, what? Oh. It's a metaphor. The big worm. Was a dude. What? A, I don't know, understand how this works at all. Yeah. So it's a metaphor, the dude. The reason why Read a book. The people weren't on the ship, they were stuck in the transporter beam. Mm-hmm. And they looked like little worms. Mm. Now Worf and his crew are going to go into the transporter and get the rest of them. So Barkley's a hero again. Oh. Biofilters, that's what it See, is. See, they were trying to do the old... The old, you don't got cancer the anymore, bio filter, just like yeah. guys biofiltered it out. Yep. <laughs> and then I had our guy increase the penis grower like 25%, because why not? I was already in there for the biofiltering, and it all went wrong. You done good. Yeah. yeah. I'm Freeze not, frame. I'm not afraid anymore. Dun. Actually, I'm, I'm very afraid. Still, <laughs> I mean, still it really, awfully afraid. I would say that it really proved all his fears are, were, fa- were justified. Yep. This is the first of many steps where he's getting promoted again. 
straight up the chain. Yep. <laughs> yep. All, next stop. A yeah. juggernaut that cannot be stopped. <laughs> exactly. Uh, of ineptitude. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, he's the Peter Principle. Oh, so he, he avoided Chief O'Brien because he was in charge of the transporters. And he thought, for some reason, that was going to cause him a problem. I don't, I'm not sure why. Mm -hmm. Just because you hang out with the guy who does the transporter doesn't mean he's going to transport you at any second. And now we learn that Chief O'Brien is a pet tarantula. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you say. Yeah, How do you, you know he's not going to bite? Unless you really mess with her. Mm -hmm. Okay, just a second. But getting anxious. <laughs> <laughs> Podcat is unhappy. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, you're gonna get drinks. Keep an eye on her. He's an Irishman. Oh. Can't stop drinking. <laughs> uh oh. Uh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> I'd he be seemed more upset when he was drinking water than when that spider was on That's his hand. <laughs> And wow. oh, wah, wah. <sighs> like all good Barkley episodes, yeah. we end with a joke. Nice. Yeah. That one went by faster because I took a nap. Well, <laughs> <laughs> they'll do that. Brandon Braga, who also wrote this episode because they had to give him something after he edited, mm -hmm. story edited the last one. Time zero. So there we go. That's Realm of Fear, everybody. That was a good one. So I, I, I liked, liked it. I liked the Barkley. I, I think like it the physicality deserves the two Emmys for face acting. For yeah, it was a good face acting. And it had, yeah, I liked it. Yeah, I, I like when everybody it. reacts to Barkley. Just like, I yeah. don't know. It just feels like I could get a job in the, on the Enterprise, and that feels comforting to me. Like, Right. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah, I mean, Barkley is... If this guy can work on the Enterprise, anybody can. Yeah. Sure. I mean, he's reasonably common. I might even save the ship one day when I see well, him. Well, he's actually really good at his job. We've learned that. Yeah. Well, that would separate him from me. Else I would not be good at it. Nice. All right. Well, we did it. End All right. Scene. So let's uh, close it up. Uh, thank you for listening. You can find us on all of the podcast listening things. You can and find us by looking at Barkley's face. We're not, yeah. And look into his eyes deeply. <laughs> and there, within the you can umbra of the subscribe, shadow. You uh, can subscribe. And uh, if you want to get in touch with us, you can email us at warpthepodcast at gmail.com. You can visit our, although we don't post. But I, I vow to start posting more. On the Twitter and Facebook and uh, yeah, you know why Instagram? I like that because I want to. All right, well, cool. Follow your bliss. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> if you want to give us money, go Step to patreon.com slash warped. And if you, uh, I think that's it. Otherwise, uh, till next time. My name is Sean. I'm Jake. Philippe. Aaron. Hey. Good night. Leaving the stage. Oh. Sean. <laughs> Say goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Woo. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> you can put the house lights down again. Thanks, everyone. Mm -hmm.